Okay guys, I never thought I'd make this video, but I'm actually making a video about a piece of clothing. <laughs> so this is unusual for me if you've watched my channel, you know this is not typical. But you know if you watch my channel also that I'm pretty hard on clothes. Um, I'm never in clothes that are clean, they always have holes in them and welding burn holes in them and I'm pretty hard on my stuff, right? So um, I'm a working guy just like you guys. So I may have a white collar job, but when I'm at home I'm a blue collar guy for sure. When you know, my wife bought a pair of these Duluth trading uh, overalls and they had built-in knee pad pockets. I was like, oh, maybe they have overalls for guys. So we went to the store the other day when we were in the big city and yep, they didn't just have overalls for guys, they had pants. So and I've had one of their flex fire hose pants before and they're super stiff and super rigid and super thick and uh, they weren't very comfortable. And I probably just got a size too small because I'm, I still think I'm skinnier than I really am. Uh, so anyway, but I picked up this pair there is about 80 bucks and the waist like stretches which makes it really comfortable when you're bending over But the biggest coolest thing is this right here is these it's they're double fronted of course and they're double fronted uh, Basically for these pockets for these knee pads and there's three different styles of knee pads And this is just the neoprene ones and uh, this is what they had in stock uh, my wife got a different set for hers and uh, it actually has, it's actually like thick foam that you can stick up here, but it just has a little Velcro thing right here on the bottom. And I think the different styles, these insert different ways, but basically there's the pad. We'll just slide it up from the bottom here. And Velcro it in. Now you've got a built-in knee pad. So you don't have straps around your, you know, around the back of your legs all the time. Your knee pads are slipping and falling down. Um, they're uncomfortable, you know, you feel like you're going to get a deep vein thrombosis because it's so tight around your legs. And uh, anyway, I'm going to try them out. I'm not going to model them for you, don't worry. You're not going to see my butt in these, but I'm going to try them out and I'll let you know how they do. The, this isn't super thick right here, so I don't expect this material to last real long, but I'm hoping my wife can patch these. If the rest of the pants last okay, you know, if I don't burn enough holes in them from welding or whatever, or grinding or cutting it with knives or whatever happens to my pants. If the, I can get them to last, we might even be able to patch these and reinforce them and get some more life out of them. But I really like the fact that you can put the knee pads in. Uh, they can form, you know, the, I don't think they're gonna be uncomfortable. So I'm excited about these. Okay guys, let's wrap up this tailgate review real quick. Uh, only use these one day, but I'll tell you, I was super excited about them. And so, like I said, I don't make, don't make review videos about clothes, but I was super excited about these pants and uh, they delivered 10 out of 10. So I couldn't be happier. Um, wore these just mostly for the afternoon, um, putting in some window unit air conditioners, working on some irrigation tubing and pipe that was leaking. Uh, I was using the backhoe also on the tractor and uh, you see the backhoe sticking out there, but I got a hydraulic leak. So I was on my knees trying to figure that out and I still got to fix that. Um, working in the garage, getting stuff out from underneath shelves. I was on my knees a lot. And you know, I noticed these pads the first couple minutes like the first five minutes of walking around, it felt kind of like, you know, you could tell that was pulling, kind of pulling your pants away from your knees. It felt a little weird. After that, I didn't even notice it. In fact, I was getting on my knees and crawling on my knees and then I would realize, oh, I'm on my knees and this isn't hurting my knees. And I'm 50 something now, you know, and just getting on my knees, just rolling my patellas around on the ground just isn't fun anymore. And so this, this has really just been, I just, I couldn't be happier. Uh, you can see it, I didn't really wear through anything. I just wish these were, made these a little bit thicker here. Uh, where it's double fronted right here where it holds these uh, uh, pads. So these neoprene pads seem to work well. These are actually the pads my wife got for hers, for her overalls, and you can see they're pretty thick and very spongy. And I don't know how long these are last, but it really doesn't matter if it's keeping your knees from you know getting sore or uh, even getting thorns in your knees, because she's a big gardener. And uh, so she's on her knees a lot gardening. And so this is gonna be you know, lifesaver for her. And if this wears out instead of your knees, you know, wear these things out, heck. And then I forgot I'd got this pair. Uh, they had this pair and the neoprene pair in the store when I bought these pants. And this pair seems to be a little harder, a little firmer. It's pretty thick and uh, maybe more for more of an industrial uh, where you're really kneeling on super hard stuff. Um, I don't know, so I'll try those out too, but there are some options and that's kind of nice to have a few options. Okay, so you know these thicker foam ones, a little bit harder foam, uh, definitely stick up higher than these thinner neoprene ones do. And obviously these stick up a little bit higher as well. Overall, you know, I've worn Carhartts, I've worn other brands, real heavy duty Carhartts. 
um, that work really well. Uh, but as far as comfort, maybe Carhartt's making something like this, I don't know, but I've just discovered these and I'm super happy. I'm gonna have to get a second pair. Just bending over, I had no idea today until I was squatting down and lifting one knee up and uh, keeping one knee on the ground that they don't just stretch around the waist, um, but they stretch all out here as well. They're super stretchy, so super comfortable. I was never in a bind. Uh, I was never felt like they were too tight or pulling on me or pinching my waist or anything. All right, so I hope this helps you guys. I know 80 bucks is a lot to spend on pants. I still live in the 80s where, you know, we spent 20 or 25 bucks on a pair of Levi's and that was a lot of money. And so it, anything over 30 bucks for pants, I'm just like, oh my gosh. So, so spending 80 bucks, I almost didn't buy these and I am so happy that I bought these. Um, this is gonna be my primary work pant, getting on the garage floor, building stuff on the garage floor. If you watch my videos, you know I do that all the time. I'm getting under the tractor, working alongside the vehicles, airing up tires, airing up airbags, working in the greenhouse, working in the garden, working around the animals. Um, getting up and down off my knees a lot. So I think the only thing I won't be doing with these, at least until I break them in for a while and uh, kind of get them dirty and kind of worn out, I'm not gonna be welding in them because I don't want to be burning holes in them right now at least. Uh, they're too new and I want them to last. Uh, but I'll definitely have to get another pair. What I wish Duluth had made was a heavier duty flame resistant pair. Now these are the flex fire hose, whatever that means material, but what I asked them at the store was, do they make the fire resistant ones, the flame resistant ones, which might be better for welding, might sh shed sparks better and that kind of thing and hot slag. Uh, and they, they said they do, but they don't make them with the knee pad slots. So maybe they will someday, that would be nice. But for now, these are gonna do the job. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.